Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are diving into some exciting updates in the world of AI. We are going to simplify and break down OpenAI complex updates so that everyone can understand. So without further ado, let's get started. So firstly, they came up with GPT-4 Turbo Launch. Hey guys, what? Jet GPT is getting even smarter. It's like when you get better at puzzles, but for Jet GPT, it is improving to understand longer stories and talk more naturally. So there what GPT-4 Turbo came into picture. So firstly, what they have done, they have increased the context length. The so GPT-4 Turbo offers a significant increase in context length, supporting up to 120,000 tokens, enabling more extensive interaction and responses. Basically, ChatGPT can now understand and talk about much more longer stories without having to stop or cut things short. It is like having better space to tell a more detailed and interesting stories. Second update is JSON mode. And they basically introduced a mode that facilitates easier API calls by returning valid JSON files, basically simplifying integration for developers. So if you are not a developer, nothing to worry here. The third update is extended world knowledge. The model has updated the knowledge now expanded until April 2023. So allowing users to upload external documents and tap into more recent information. The next update is new modalities. So now they have incorporated DALI, GPT-4 Vision, and a new text-to-speech system into the GPT API plan. So that is a huge update, guys. So these are all in the GPT-4 Turbo launch. The next topic we can see is customization and access. So basically, now they have introduced enterprise customization. OpenAI is offering selected slots for large enterprise to fine tune the models to, to, to specific requirements. Second is higher rate limits. They have doubled the tokens per minute and reduced the price point, making APIs more accessible for developers. The next thing which they have introduced is they have introduced GPTs. So GPTs are basically GPT specialized agents. Imagine a big shop where people can create and shape their own special stories. The most loved stories get a special place and even get rewarded. Yeah, you heard it right. You will even can have monetary benefit with this. So basically, these are the tailored AI agents. So GPTs are specialized bots for specific tasks within chat GPT infrastructure. These are customizable and can even execute functions, enabling users to create tailored AI tools without extensive coding. So here you can make money if you can make a good GPTs. It's on the GPT store, which they are introducing. So the next store, next thing, GPT store and democratization. So basically with GPT-4, OpenAI is launching a GPT store, allowing users to create lists and sell their specialized GPTs, basically democratizing AI tool creation and distribution. So yeah, next thing is assistant API. Basically, you can say this is like having a cool tool that helps you make special friends for your app. So basically it can help you while making your apps, just like how you might have a friend to help you with the homework. This tool helps you, helps your apps in a special way. Next is what are the implications for the developers? So basically it reduced the barrier to entry. GPTs and assistant API significantly lower the barrier to creating AI based product as users can develop apps with natural language without extensive coding knowledge. Rise of generative AI in development. Emphasize the growing in integration and importance of generative AI tools in various business workflow. So yeah, I think yeah, these are the major updates from the OpenAI Dev Day. Hope you guys like it. If you like it, don't hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video.